What's up, Blueberries? This is Alton Hilt, and uh, you just witnessed my glorious return to dust. Um, back after about three or four weeks of taking a break from military training, and I know I said I was going to do some strategy videos using the starter fits, but I just couldn't resist, couldn't help myself. My glorious plasma cannon has received some tweaks, and uh, I just wanted to play out. So this is my first game, uh, coming back, show you my fit here. Um, I'm running a standard Kaldari Scout, but um, due to a fitting mod, you'll see here the CPU right here allows me to fit quite a number of complex um, variants, and I'm, of course I'm running the Advanced Plasma Cannon. So uh, the recent buff to damage means that uh, the Advanced is a pretty good balance between uh, the cost of the, and the damage of the prototype and the base plasma cannon but so let's see let's get into a squad oh boy not in a good position here surrounded uh, I should have lined up that shot a little bit better since he was shooting at somebody else but it's hard to tell man I am just off today I think I think this is gonna be a pretty common scene today so don't judge me in my plasma skills too harshly uh, plasma is definitely the most skill oriented ooh got a good one there <laughs> uh, it's the most skill oriented weapon in the game it, it uh, requires a great deal of skill and ability so I definitely don't recommend it as a starting weapon unless of course you love it because it's an awesome weapon <laughs> uh, but you're definitely going to want to be running a some type of SMG uh, I'm using the, the magsec SMG so a higher recoil lower rate of fire more damage per shot and a uh, slightly better range. Uh, I'm just checking to see if I, my teammates even playing the game here. Um, as you saw, I jumped into a squad. It's just very normal for me at the beginning of a match, if, even if I'm playing solo, to, to jump into a squad to let my points contribute to a, a war barge. Um, of course, we don't have a lot of really well-formed teams. The odds of getting a war barge here are pretty... Oh, okay, gotta hide. Let my shields recover. So if you've never seen the Plasma Cannon in action, it's a one-shot weapon. It does a high direct hit damage, so if you can get that shot to connect, you're going to pretty much instantly kill just about everything. But it uh, has some splash damage. Oh, I don't think the splash damage actually took on that one. But the splash damage is really low, so you, you're going for those direct hits. It's not like the Mass Driver where you're just going to spam and, and rely on the splash damage. You need those first shots. Oh, wow. So many enemies just appeared out of nowhere. Ooh, that was, oh, now I'm going to die. Ah, oh, yep. And you've got one shot, so uh, if you miss that direct hit... Um, your splash damage may or may not take them out. Most of the time it won't. It's pretty low splash damage, uh, and of course the time it takes to reload and get back up means that... Uh, uh, I don't know why that one didn't hit. Yeah, I know that one didn't hit. <laughs> that was a sucky shot. But... Um, yeah, so Plasma Cannon, it's going to require a lot of skill, and in my mind that's what makes it fun. Uh, it's not an easy weapon to use. Oh, wow. I am just way off. Oh. Oh, and of course I shot his remotes. But he took himself out, so I guess that's a fair trade. So, it, like I said, if I don't recommend it as a starting weapon, but it's, it's really fun, uh, especially if you like the challenge of skill shots. If, like me, you enjoy um, the dust 514 not because oh that poor sucker didn't even know it was coming not because um you know you enjoy overpowered weapons or winning but because you enjoy winning from skill and that's i think where the plasma cannon really i just really enjoy playing dust because even though i don't have as great a kd kdr i'm not getting as many kills i'm dying more often it's challenging and i enjoy that cha oh right there <laughs> 
That's what you love that that feeling of oh man, I totally nailed that. And of course, uh, I missed that one there. But the the nice thing about the plasma cannon, it can be both an anti-infantry. Oh, see, followed it up. Uh, anti-infantry and an anti-vehicle. It's gonna struggle a little bit in both regards for reasons that I stated uh, previous. Um, it also. It's also really difficult for AV just because it has such a high arc and a slow rate of or slow travel. Um, I mean, r literally, when somebody when you're you're dancing with somebody and you're just firing off shots, they can literally watch that shot come in and just casually move out of the way. Now, some people don't, you know, because they're surprised and there's a reaction time, but a lot of a lot of times you'll just find like this guy my chances of he's dancing my chances of hitting him are pretty low oh, why didn't it reload there okay my odds of survival at this point are not good no splash damage I that's that's a, the second time I think I've seen a situation where a splash should have taken effect that's another issue with the plasma cannon is just sometimes the splash damage doesn't apply. So, um, you're, like I said before, go for those direct hits. Don't count on the splash damage. Now, this guy... I'm going to switch squads here. Um, no disrespect to this individual, just... Um, oh, accidentally muted him. Just... I'm going to check and see if this guy is playing a little bit, having a better, better game... Yeah, a little bit, but <laughs> we are not going to get a war barge between the two of us this round. So some other things to consider with the plasma cannon. Definitely a little bit more of a standoff weapon um, and a surprise weapon, too. So you will I've almost always played it with a scout frame uh, because I, I, I need to be able to know where the enemies are. It's not enough with the plasma cannon to shoot where they are, you have to shoot where they're going to be. And if you can, like this guy right here, if you can see where he's going to be, and that was a poor example of how to do it, you can shoot where you anticipate them to be. And in doing so, you stand a much better chance. Now with the medium frame or a heavy frame, it's just a lot more difficult to spot people on the minimap or to see their, um, to see where they're gonna go. So while I'm interested in trying it on the commando, uh, I just haven't um, specced into it yet, but I've mostly played the plasma cannon with the scout for that reason. Uh, you're fast, you can see a lot of people, and that gives you a little bit of an advantage. Now, I don't typically run the cloak, especially not with the Kaldari. Oh, see right there, that should, that, that should have, oh no, see that. Ah, I don't know what it is. Uh, it seems like this game, my splash damage just isn't taking hold. Um, uh, one of the things you know to get around that is if you're in a scout suit you can kind of jump up and you notice me trying to do that there at the end um, so that you have a little better of an angle for splash one of the ways I've no oh, must have killed my remotes one, one of the ways that I've noticed that uh, the splash damage applies more often is if there is a uh, at least a 30 degree angle between the impact of the shot and the so here's an AV application, but as soon as it starts moving, it's just a difficult. Your 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 projectile's traveling so slowly, has such a great arc that it's really hard to hit a moving target, uh, moving vehicle. So even though they're large, uh, wow, two scouts, not good. Oh, come on, I thought they fixed that bug. I, even though it's a larger target, it it can it travels faster than uh, infantry, so. That's where the, the challenge with using this as an AV weapon is. It's just that that vehicle can move so quickly. Oh, I should have lined that shot up better. I had the time. The other issue is just that even if you're slightly off, the aiming reticle for this weapon is not that great. And if it's very hard when you get down to those minor final adjustments to know if you're going to be right on or off. And of course, the, there's a shake or a vibration that occurs when you charge up the weapon, and uh, that can make it very difficult. But generally speaking, if you get the shot lined up before you start pulling the trigger, uh, 
um, the the shake will sort of even itself out. It will uh, won't throw off your aim. It just kind of throws off any minor last minute adjustments you're trying to make. So if you have the time, take the time to line up that shot. Oh, I see a tank over here. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you a little bit. So this is the uh, advanced version. I have a great deal of proficiency. If you're going to run it, I typically run remotes, and then I try to start taking that. I don't have a third remote, so I'm going to try to damage his armor a little bit more here. Um, with the, the reworking of the remotes, these standard ones don't do nearly as much damage. All right, that might be enough now. Not enough. I killed somebody. Oh, that he was probably at Bravo. Not enough. Now this guy is oddly still, and I have run out of ammo at an unfortunate time. So we're just gonna dance with this guy for. Oh, there's some, somebody I missed, and that cost him his life. So, yeah, see, this guy is already pretty much repped up all the way again. But the plasma cannon does. Uh, I believe it's 20% bonus to shields, 20% reduction to armor. It's going to make killing an armor-based vehicle very difficult with the plasma cannon. So the best AV combination for tanks is definitely get up close, uh, get some remotes on it, take down its shields, and then detonate those remotes. But I am out of remotes here. Oh no, I got him back. Okay. I think this guy's toying with me. Not... So I'm definitely farming the war points here, but um, doesn't I'm not having a lot of success actually taking them out. Oh, and I'm about to run out of ammo. Okay, let's get some more here. Uh, generally speaking, the heavy ro even though the heavy row almost nice try, but oh, you can switch into a gunner seat, huh? Well, too bad. You're just too close for that. Um, you know, if I, if I'm not constantly just applying DPS as fast as possible on this guy, he's going to outrep me, and it looks exactly like what he's going to do. Another guy in here. So, it's it's a challenge without remotes, without some other form of AV. Um, oh, that didn't take it. Oh, did it? Yeah. Okay. It's going to blow up here. Without some other form of AV, it's going to be hard to take, especially an armor-based. Okay. Splash damage took there. At least it's working sometime. It's going to be very hard to take out uh, vehicles, armor-based vehicles. So right there, yep, he's, he's already ripped up almost all the way again. And I put how many shots into him? Almost two full clips now. But I'm going to keep trying here. It's uh, might as well. Just to kind of show you the challenge here. So 1,300 damage per shot, minus 20%. I mean, so that's... I'm doing 800 damage or so. Oh, one. No, nope, that's going to be two more shots. <sighs> See, right there. And, uh, oh, no, I'm going to miss this last shot. Just that vehicle can travel so fast that uh, there's just no way that last shot was going to hit. And once the vehicle gets up to speed, uh, it's it's over. So a good tanker, I mean, would have just destroyed me by the time I had applied all that damage. And now he's run away and I can't find him. And that's pretty typical. So... Definitely, if you're going to use this for AV, you're going to want to get up close with some remotes, get the remotes down, um, and then uh, you know, if you have um, AV grenades as well, use the, those, um, and then just fire off those remotes as they start to run away, and you stand a good chance of being able to take down a tank. LAVs are a little bit more difficult. It takes two to three shots, depending. Uh, methana, probably two... No, Methana is probably more like three to four shots, and uh, Saga is uh, two to three, because it's more shield-based. But Yeah, I totally love this weapon. You're definitely not going to run the high KDRs with it, but it's challenging. It's enjoyable. When you, you make those shots and you just take out that uh, infantry from way far away, it's so satisfying. But uh, prepare for a lot of frustration. The gun still needs some work. In my personal opinion, I think it could use with a uh, projectile velocity buff. Not too anything too crazy, I suppose. Although I would love for it to be really fast. I don't know why that one didn't... Uh, that was just weird. Heal, oh, and that one probably would have hit, but game over. So I hope you enjoyed some uh, Plasma Cannon gameplay. Uh, 
I say I am probably not the best at it, but uh, I enjoy it. And I've been playing almost exclusively prior to all the hotfixes, Alpha and Bravo, and uh, it's just gotten better. I'm really enjoying the, um, the, the hotfix Bravo buff to it, which allows you to switch it out to other weapons much, much faster, start reloading much faster. It's made it much more viable we a weapon. As always, this was Alton Hilt, and I will see you in the sandbox.